So I have the Galaxy Z Flip 5 here in my hands, and it is one of the most incredible pieces of technology that I have ever owned. I think it's so unique as far as its form factor, and it's honestly so fun to use. And a lot of smartphones out there are not fun, but this is one of the funnest phones I've ever had, and finally they've made a lot of really good refinements to it to really make it a phone that a lot of people should actually consider buying. So I wanna talk about that in this full review. So with all that being said, let's get right into it and let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. So when we look at the Galaxy Z Flip 5, I know it's not the cheapest smartphone out there, $999, but we're paying for a really unique form factor that I think a lot of people now, they still don't appreciate. A lot of people haven't even thought about why we have folding phones and how cool they are. But I wanna tell you that I've had so much fun with this with my family. So when I'm using this phone, I know, cool, it's a folding phone, yay. And a lot of you might think, why would you even use that? Because then you just have to open up your phone every time you use it. Why would you create a barrier to using your phone? Well, for some of us, we actually want to create a barrier to using our phones because we want to spend time with our family. We want a nice, small smartphone to fit in our pocket, and we want something that could be larger if we actually need to get work done. So this unique form factor does allow a lot of us to do that. But another thing a lot of us don't even consider Consider is when we have kids and having kids means that using a cover display for your photos is so amazing. So if you're actually using the camera and you press a button in the top right hand corner, you could actually film or show a cover display to show your kids exactly what you're filming. So that means your kids can see themselves and they get so excited when they see themselves in the camera. I have a four year old and like a two year old and they love posing for the camera because they see themselves on this nice large cover display. And when you had the Z Flip 4, for example, that was not really a great option, of course, because the cover display was so darn small. But now that we have this large cover display, it's a really awesome some opportunity for us to show our kids the photos we're taking and that means they might want to pose and stop while they're taking the photo and you could get some amazing photos when your kids are actually into the photos. So I know the cameras on this phone aren't quite as good as something like the S23 Ultra but it's so much funner to use this phone with your kids whenever you're taking a photo of them or when you take a video because you could actually fold the screen like this and when you do it makes it like a little tripod it's almost like a camcorder that you're using. And when you're filming people in your family, it just makes it a lot more fun of an experience to be able to hold your phone like this, of course. So that's really, really fun. And the other thing is selfies. So whenever a lot of us take selfies, we of course have to use the front facing cameras on the phones because we don't have a folding phone most of the time, right? But when you actually have a folding phone, you could actually open up your rear cameras here. You could open up the camera app right here on this cover display. And that means that you could actually pose for photos and actually have the rear cameras taking them. So whether you're posing for photos with your kids or you're just taking some selfies for yourself, of course, because that's what a lot of people do with selfies. Well, that is going to get you a lot better photos than you would traditionally get from a normal selfie camera. All you have to do is actually just put your hand up. It will give you a few seconds to pose. And once you pose, you're gonna get a great looking photo. I get a lot better photos from this on a day-to-day -day basis than I would a normal phone because the selfie cameras are a lot better. So those are some things that a lot of people don't think about when they're looking at this form factor. You get a fun phone that takes fun photos with your family. You could do a lot of cool things as far as a tripod with your phone, which is great. You could actually set your phone up and just set it down on a desk so it's its own little tripod. And you could also do that if you're watching videos, for example. So if you are watching something on YouTube, you could actually prop your phone up and it's a little bit easier to watch it and have your own little tripod here. I know the screen isn't super large for that. You're still gonna have a really small video, but it's still nice that you could actually prop up your phone and get a little bit of a better angle, of course, on the display without having to buy some separate accessory with the phone. So I really like all these things. And of course, I just love having a barrier between me and my phone. So that's what makes this phone special. Now, I didn't wanna get into all the specs right away. I just wanted to tell you why this phone is so amazing and why a lot of people should consider it. But if I take a step back and look at the design of it, you're not gonna get a headphone jack, of course. You're gonna get a normal speaker here on the bottom. You're gonna get your USB-C port 
And if you open up the phone, you are gonna get a fingerprint sensor here on the top of the phone, on the top right hand side. You are gonna have two cameras here, and these cameras are nearly identical to the Z Flip 4. So these two cameras here, they are not gonna be all that different. But outside of that, this is gonna look very, very similar to the Z Flip lineup, of course, from last year. Now the colors are a little bit different, and the hinge, the hinge is very different than last year. So now this folding phone can actually close all the way. So from previous years, if you looked at those years, you would have a lot of dust that would be getting in because of the angle of the hinge, and I had a lot of annoyances with that, but they did make some minor refinements to the hinge and to the design itself that would allow this phone to close flat and close shut. So that is going to help a little bit with dust protection so dust doesn't get into the phone and that does help. Now of course I have very dusty pockets. I am still managing to get dust inside the screen sometimes but it's still a little bit nicer and it does keep at least some dust out of the phone. So the design again has a lot of improvements that I like. Mainly the cover display and mainly the hinge. But outside of those things, you're not gonna see much of a difference between this and the Z Flip 4. But we shouldn't really fret about that because the cover display is such a massive bump as far as really specs, even though it's not a traditional spec bump, just having a nice cool outer display, it is so handy to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, if you do use that cover display, one thing you'll realize is that you can actually install a lot of extra apps on it. Now, outside of the box, it's really just like a bunch of widgets that you have on there. So if you want your calendar widget, your alarm widget, you could have a widget for your steps and things like that. It's sort of like using a smartwatch when you flip through all the tiles and stuff, but you can actually install an app called Goodlock and if you install the Goodlock launcher so it is going to be through the Galaxy Store and you have to download a few things with that and I will try to put some steps down there in the description so you could see that but once you go through those steps you could actually put any app on this outer display that you want so it's nice that I could have YouTube there I could check my messages the big thing for the cover display that makes my life a lot easier is the fact that I could just check things without opening my phone of course I am someone who thought it would really help me out and like everyone else, I would probably just open up my phone anyway and scroll through it. So a lot of you might say, well, this isn't very practical. Why would I spend more money on this when I could get a phone like the S23 Ultra and get better cameras and get better durability? And I wouldn't argue with you. I understand you can get a better overall phone with the S23 Ultra. You're gonna get better battery life. You're going to get a 5,000 milliamp battery and you're gonna get an S Pen. And this does not have an S Pen. The battery size is like 3,700 milliamps. So it's not the best battery size in the world. It's very similar to the Galaxy S23 and you will get good battery life on it, especially if you're using this outer cover display more, but you're not gonna get great battery life. So I was getting about five hours of screen on time and that was pretty good overall. The display is not quite as good as the S23 Ultra either. Now it's great, the resolution is amazing, it's actually a very nice and bright screen. Like it's a 2640 by 1080 resolution, a 6.7 inch screen when it's actually opened up, and it's great. Now it's eight gigabytes of RAM, so it's not 16 gigabytes or 12 gigabytes. Some of you might want a little more RAM for multitasking, but I think 95% of people are gonna fly through every single thing they're doing. This has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, so the battery life is a lot better than other models from previous years because this is more efficient. The processor is more efficient than the Flip 3, and it's a little more efficient as well than the Flip 4. So you're gonna get pretty good battery life, again, compared to previous years, though it's not gonna be great. It's still gonna be average compared to other smartphones. So again, why buy a phone with average battery life? Why buy a phone, yeah, it has the latest and greatest processor, but I could get a little more RAM with the S23 Ultra. I could get a little bit of better cameras. So the cameras are good on this phone. You get these normal 12 megapixel cameras, but you're not gonna get anything sensational. Sure, the 4K video is pretty good, it's okay. The cameras are great, but there's a little more shutter lag, for example, than the S23 Ultra, and you don't have 100 times zoom. So why pay the same money and not get those things? Well, if you do say that, you are really discounting the form factor. It is such a game changer, again, to take those photos of your kids in that way. It makes it so fun. It's such a game changer to be able to fit this in your pocket. If you have a dress shirt, you could fit this in that dress shirt pocket. This is gonna fit great in pretty much everything that you have in any type of pocket because it is so darn small and that is such a significant thing for people. A lot of us are thinking about the day-to-day -day usability and the day-to-day -day fun with our phones. And this is gonna provide all of those things. And that's why I think this phone is out there. It's a good phone to purchase. It's for those people who are okay. If you're okay with one step down, if you're okay with the cameras being one step down, if you're okay 
with not having the absolute best RAM, right? You're okay with one step down there. The performance is still gonna fly through everything. You're not even really taking a step down. So what are you taking a step down with? Well, the display is maybe a little bit of a step down from the S23 Ultra. The cameras are one step down, but outside of those things, you're not really gonna see a huge hit. One step down with the battery, but in exchange, you get the unique form factor. You get the awesome things that you could do with it. You get this unique form factor that you could use day to day. You get the coolness of having a flip phone, right? You get the cool accessories that you could have where you have a little keychain that actually hangs this from a bag or from your pocket. Like there's so many cool things that you could do with fashion with this phone. There's so many cool things if you're not a fashionista out there, I completely get it by the way. But nonetheless, I just love how this phone fits into my day to day life. I love how it fits into my pocket and I love how I could use this with my kids to just get fun moments out of it. And Samsung does have a lot of great trade-in deals that they typically offer that could really make this phone worth buying. And when you consider all those incentives, a lot of carriers are giving this phone out for free. It's really gonna be something that I think a lot of people should consider. Now, is it the most durable thing? No. That's the one thing you have to consider. This does have a screen protector on the inside. The screen protector is meant to protect against scratches and stuff, but this phone is a lot more fragile and I don't know if they're gonna fix that anytime soon. But I am very impressed with the durability because this phone is water resistant and when actually I saw a YouTube video, it was actually a live stream comparing this and it was a bunch of people folding the phone over and over and they were seeing how much they could fold it before the phones would break. And they were comparing this with the Motorola Razr that was out there. And that's a brand new flip phone that's out. Well, Samsung's phone lasted a lot longer. And in my experience using the Motorola Razr and using this right here, the hinge just feels a lot nicer on it. So if I'm really thinking about durability, I think Samsung's phone is gonna be the most durable. I think the water resistance is a big deal. And even though there might be some people that get some cracks around the middle of the phone, every once in a while you see those reports on Reddit. I will say Samsung did do a few extra things to actually protect this phone long term as far as the structural integrity. They did say that they did try to tweak a few things to help with that. And they did try to tweak a few things as well with the screen protector and its adhesion so the screen protector doesn't peel off so much. Now I still think you're gonna have to replace your screen protector after a year or two and that's a little bit annoying, right? Some of you out there, you're gonna forget to replace it and then the screen is gonna get damaged very, very easily. Like again, the screen is very fragile if you don't have that screen protector on. So durability is one concern, I get it. But if you just keep the screen protector on, I don't think most people are gonna have issues. And Samsung will replace the screen protector one time for free. They will also do a one-time screen replacement for a lower cost, at least from what I've heard. I think that this phone is actually more durable than people give it credit for. So outside of that, what do I think about this phone? Well, I think it's a terrific phone. I think the speakers are pretty good on it. I think the cameras are pretty good on it. I think the battery life is pretty good. I think the speed is amazing. I think it flies through everything I want to do, but I really wish it had Samsung DeX. It doesn't have that. If I can live with that, if I could live with this being a step below Samsung with the S23 Ultra, it's a step below some of those higher end phones. But honestly, this is a terrific phone. It's a fun phone. As long as you're willing to live with the compromises, if you can live with some of those, in exchange, you're gonna get one of the funnest phones and one of the funnest form factors that you could buy. And I think that is really worth it for a lot of people. And if you've been holding back from getting a foldable phone, I think this is really one of those phones that you should definitely consider buying. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you do wanna purchase this phone, feel free to check the links in the description. That is a great way to support my channel because I do rely on a lot of things like affiliate links. And another thing you can do if you wanna support me is check out some other content and of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I have a lot of videos out there on Galaxy tablets, on Galaxy phones, on the S23 Ultra, and a lot of awesome devices. So again, check those out. And I really hope you have a tremendous day. And I really do hope you enjoy your week and that you enjoy your phones.